Okay, so one of the problems I like to include on my final exam involves a boat traveling at a constant velocity for some period of time, and then it cuts its engine. Now, traveling at a constant velocity for some period of time, the distance is simply velocity times time. After it cuts its engine, it's no longer a rectangle, so I have to use an integral starting at t1 for the velocity. Let's review that. If the velocity is some function of x, then the distance is the integral of some function of x. And conversely, the acceleration would be the derivative of that function in x. What is v sub c? The time, the constant velocity. What is t1? The time before it cuts its engine. Looking at this problem, particularly for a boat, there's my velocity after I cut the engine. There's my constant velocity and the time before I cut my constant velocity. So plugging those numbers into here, I think I have 8 times 16 t to the negative 2. Make sure you see why that's negative 2. Negative. And make sure you see where I got the 16 from. So my velocity is 128 t to the negative 2. So my distance will be the integral of 128t to the negative 2 from t sub 1 to t. And my acceleration is going to be the derivative of that. Now remember for the derivative, you multiply it in front, that makes that negative 256, and subtract 1, t to the negative 3. So my velocity is 128t to the negative 2. My acceleration is negative 256t to the negative 3. And my distance is 32, not 32, yeah, 32, plus the integral from 4 to t of 128 t to the negative 2 power. Since they asked for an equation for the velocity after time t, that's, that's done. To find the acceleration after 50 seconds, that's going to be negative 256 times 50 to the negative 3 power, which my calculator tells me is negative 0 0.002. It's almost stopped. Almost stop slowing down very slowly. Now to find the distance traveled, I'm going to have to take the antiderivative of this, which is going to be plus 1 over plus 1, negative 128 t to the negative 1 power. And I'm starting at 4 seconds, and I'm ending at 50. That's 128. So that's negative 128 over 50 minus negative 128 over 4. And plug all that into my calculator. It gives me 29.44. So the total distance, it traveled 32 meters before I cut the engine. The total difference after I cut the engine is 29.44 for a total difference distance of 61.44. Now to find the distance when it comes to rest, the only thing I'm going to change is that that 50 is going to become infinity. It's going to be 32 plus the integral from 4, but not to 50, from 4 to infinity of 128 t to the negative 2 power, which means that I'm going to plug an infinity in right there and have to do a limit. Of course, you may remember that the limit of 1 over infinity is 0.
Why did this term become zero? Because when you plug in infinity in the denominator, you got zero, which is 32 plus 32 is 64. Now, because this was a squared and this was a two power, it wound up being just twice what my first distance was. That won't always be the case. Don't get conditioned to that. That won't always be the case. Let's look at another example where that is the case, though. In this problem, I have a constant velocity of 6 meters per second for 12 seconds. And here's my formula for velocity after I've cut my time. So the formula for velocity after time t is 6 times 144. Get my calculator out on that. 864 t to the negative 2. So my acceleration of my velocity is 864 t to the negative 2. My acceleration is the derivative of that. My acceleration is the derivative of that, which is going to be, whoops, excuse me, negative 1728 t to the negative 3 and my distance is going to be the integral from what was my time 12 to t of 864 t to the negative 2 but since I started with a distance of 72 before I cut my engine, it's going to be 72 plus the integral from 12 to t of 864 t to the negative 2. Since the original equation was asking for a formula, that's it, the original problem, problem A. There's my velocity after time t, 864 t to the negative 2. To find my acceleration after 50 seconds, I'm going to say negative 1728 times 50 to the negative 3 power, which is the same as saying divided by 50 to the third power. Which is negative 0 0.0138. It's slowing down, but not slowing down very much. It's almost come to a stop. Now, how far has it traveled? Well, my antiderivative is negative 864 t to the negative 1, because it's to the plus 1 over plus 1, which is 72 plus negative 864 at 12. I'm sorry, t to the negative 1. Do that t to the negative 1 from 12 to 50. So that's 72 plus negative 864 over 50 minus negative 864 over 12, which my calculator tells me is 72 plus 54.72 is 126.72. The only difference about how far it will travel when it comes to rest is that that top T is going to become infinity. And this is going to become 72 plus negative 864 over infinity plus 864 over 12. And limit dividing by infinity is 0. And that works out to be 72 plus 72 
equals 144. Again, don't get in the habit of thinking it's just going to be doubled. If this is not squared and this is not squared, but some other problem, it won't be doubled. Hope that helps, and I'm going to put a sample assignment like this on uh, Canvas.